Paul, talk about your story a little bit um, and how health became a driving force in your life. You had to get pretty sick in order to get the other way, didn't you? Sure. I wasn't really interested in health as I was growing up. I was interested in athletic performance, and I was just trying to be at the top of my game as a teenager. Um, but then when I was uh, 20 years old, I got diagnosed with inflammatory bowel disease, which is uh, inflammation of the colon. It was very painful, but the worst part is there's no cure. So I had no choice but to listen to the doctor because at that time that's all I knew. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't getting better, I was getting worse. So I wanted to look at alternative methods of getting better because I hear they worked. So uh, the doctor told me diet had nothing to do with my condition. Well, after doing more research, people said different. So I wanted to decide who was right, my doctor or the people. Mm -hmm. And I decided to try changing my diet and my condition healed. So I knew right away that uh, two things, number one, that diet did have something to do with my condition and health in general and disease. And the other thing was that doctors really don't know much about health. They just know about uh, preventing, or not even preventing, but uh, controlling disease. Mm -hmm. and, but after you control for a certain amount of time, it comes back. Mm -hmm. So I decided I'm not going to listen to the doctors and I'm going to listen to my body. You wanted to be an athletic performer. What were you doing? before that led up to the disease, and do you think that caused it? What well, I just was, as a teenager, I was just involved in sports, uh -huh. so I didn't want to grow up and be an athletic sure. profession. I just was involved in sports, and I was living the standard American life, eating a standard American diet, but I was a teenager, so I can get away with that. Mm. Uh, but I found out when you're older, you don't get away with those same things. But uh, So I would eat a whole bunch of stuff. I, my metabolism was very fast. I wouldn't put on weight, mm -hmm. and I would just eat like the standard American person, but more. Okay. And that's, I, I know that's what led up to my issue. Uh, and so you changed your diet. How long was that change? How long did that change take place? Did you do it kind of gradually? Uh, it's still taking place. Now okay. after 18 years, I'm still learning and growing from it. But uh, as immediately, I found out, uh, I started feeling the healing effects immediately, eliminating certain things from my diet and lifestyle. So the number one thing I eliminated is dairy products and uh, animal products in general. And then from there, I just gravitated more to a raw food diet and a raw food lifestyle. And even from there, I simplified it to following correct food combining and, and getting rid of dehydrated foods and things like this, and just made those adjustments. You said immediately you found relief. I mean, was it that, was it that quick, or, it or was that it kind quick. of, did it go? No, it was that you... quick immediately. I found relief. Now, not completely cured immediately, but okay. I completely found uh, relief right away from my symptoms and it led up to me ultimately being completely healed.